like subscribe and leave a comment so here's your review of aew rampage the week of the 30th of october if you're in england obviously read a week before so i'm sure you will know that by now so it starts with ortiz versus santana this is actually a really good match go and watch it you haven't seen it this is a solid match i'm definitely requesting you to go and watch this match it's a great match between the two but in the end santana got the victory then we have mdf talking about uh, his accomplishments and his big matches his all-in uh, record-breaking match versus Adam Cole. And then we have Kenya Omega talking about his accomplishments because obviously they're going to face off at Collision, which I've already done a review for. So go and watch that if you haven't seen it as well. Then we have Jay White wishing Kenny Omega good luck in his match. Um, we'll see what happens there. Then we have Don Callis running to MJF trying to recruit MJF, but that goes... Uh, doesn't go well, I should say. There's other words I could use. Um, then we have Kit Sabian, Kit Sabian getting a beat down by uh, Mark Briscoe. Kit, Kit Sabian was just talking about some stuff, wherever he was, and he got beat down. Then we have Anna J. Willow versus Sky Blue versus Abaddon in a four-way match. Really good match. Go and watch it. And the winner of this face is... Uh, Shida and the winner was Abaddon. Then in the main event of the evening, it's Carl Fletcher uh, versus Tonoski. I'm sure I'm butchering his name every single time, but in the end, Tanochki gets the win. Then we go to Dynamite. So Dynamite starts with MJF looking for a partner in his match versus Jay White to get his Triple B back. Um, he he calls Adam Cole for some advice. Adam Cole said he should speak to Samoan Joe, and then Roderick Strong turns up and then messes everything up basically then we have a great match we have orange cassidy versus claudio castillo um i think that's how i pronounce his name claudio i call him claudio anyway for the international championship in a great match go and watch it this was a great match really good match um but in the end uh cassidy gets the victory then literally after cassidy returns he returns one of my favorite wrestlers john moxley's back he's back he seems to be cleared because he's beating down cassidy after the fight so Good to see John Moxley back. Then we go to the back again. MJF is trying to knock on the door. Of, um, Kenny Omega. Chris Jericho answers the door, slams the door in his face, and then he runs into the acclaimed backstage as well. But he walks off because obviously he doesn't want to team with the acclaimed. Then we have John Moxley in the back. He's really heated. He's calling out Orange Cassidy. Um, he calls like calls out Orange Cassidy for sort of taking over since he's been away. And it looks like it's going to be Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley at full gear. Then we have the Embassy versus the Elite for the ROH Trios Championship in a great match. Go and watch it. But due to some interference from Strickland that um, took Hangman out of the match, your new ROH Trios Champion, the Embassy. So congratulations to them. Then we have M. Jeff in the back, still looking for a partner. So we'll see what happens. Then we have Edge come out. So Edge talks about respecting Sting, respecting uh, Darby. Then Christian Cage comes out and basically said to him, "Listen, if you team with them lot, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna hurt your neck. I'm gonna break your neck. And you're not gonna be able to wrestle again. Do not team with them lot, or you're gonna get injured." And then basically they try to attack Edge. And then Darby and Sting come to help. And then Edge makes his uh, decision to now tag with Darby and Sting. So he's going to be tagging with them at full gear. Then we have Tony Khan announcing uh, All In, I believe it is. <clears throat> all In or All Out, one of them. Um, it's going to be happening, I think, in December. And tickets going on sale in December, I believe. Then we have the JAS versus Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho in a great match. But in the end, um, Chris Jericho gets the victory. And basically, um, Don Callis then calls out Chris Jericho for a match. But Don Callis' family has more members than obviously there is for just Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega. So they have backup uh, and they have the big show coming out as well. So the big show is going to be on their team. Then we have the Young Bucks and Kenny. Uh, Young Bucks having a go at Kenny Omega for saying, what are you doing with Chris Jericho? What's going on here? whatever so they're not happy about it then we have willow versus shida for the aw women's championship great match go and watch it. i haven't seen it being the end shida got the victory then we have a, this bit was funny we have mjf in the back still looking for partners then he runs into um the acclaim is like and the acclaim goes well if you want to partner with us you've got to wear this attire he obviously he doesn't want to wear it then he turns and he sees his other option is is uh sanjay dud uh sing um, Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett is like I ain't got no choice I've got to go with the acclaim so I'll, I'll probably would have done the same thing then in the main event of the evening it's Bullet Club and MJ Bullet Club versus well, Bullet Club Gold versus MJF and the acclaimed um, in a great match go and watch it I haven't seen it but a shocker in the end because in the end Jay White pins MJF 
Wow. That's your review of AW Rampage and Dynamite. Leave a comment.